Oh, there's a tick of damage from the smoke. It slows down Kiaz. Oh, Twist just turns away. He can't come back in time. But the eight bombsite is under pressure, and Brokey's off is deleted. Rain's still there, though. Rock's gonna take the aggro away. Do they expect this? I don't think they heard it. I don't think they did either. They're gonna check it either way. Bomb goes down. He's gotta be careful, though. He's very limited in going at that doorway. He goes reverse. He goes to the ramp, and he's gonna shut out I'm as well. Acor, the only one left. And if he goes aggressively, oh, he's gotta be accurate. Time. He nails I'm, it, but you're he's right. He's got it. He's got oh, it. Just barely. Just Barely got it. Bomb's gonna be planted. And now with the op, he knows where he's coming from. He's missed the first shot. Acor gets tagged on that as well. And Kerrigan, he wants more. Acor's fire off warnings just to keep him at bay, but Kerrigan knows he's got a bit to play with here, so he's gonna slow it down. He's gonna give him a shadow of doubt, and Acor under pressure. He's missed again. He's down to 29, but it will only take one. It will only take one from the AWP. Still, Kerrigan gets close, but this one resumes. It goes no away! Acor finally hits the shot up close. I, oh my lord, I don't know how that lasted so long. Kerrigan couldn't take him down either. That is insane! He may have missed three, but that's why an AWP is so prevalent. I need to seek deaths from Kerrigan's perspective. How is Acor not dead? What happens in the final exchange? Acor has a four HP, and Kerrigan, he never found the timing. He never felt confident between shots to actually commit to the fight and take down Acor. That's way too many opportunities for an AWP, and you can see Twist, a hand of comfort on his shoulder,